What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel with only beautiful people watching. Hi. Thank you all for tuning in again today, guys. We have something special today. Um, that is a video from Google Arts and Culture. Um, with Chaeyoung, you guys. Chaeyoung um, takes us to the Yo Yunkuk's mountain. <laughs> or to Yo Yunkuk's mountain. Um, I have no idea what it is about. It is about something um, art related. And um, we all know that Chang is really um, interested in art and in culture stuff and that she's really um, into that stuff. So um, I guess she's explaining maybe a painting or something else. I have no idea what it is about, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I don't know if she's really there or if she's just narrating it, but um, yeah, I'm just excited to have this little collaboration because that is also really cool from Google to... Um, not choose an only a K-pop idol, but also someone who's really interested in art. So um, that is really fitting to choose Chaeyoung, guys. Let's let's see. 안녕하세요, 트와이스 채영입니다. Hi. 저는 art 지금부터 group. 여러분께 색과 형태에 대해 이야기해 보려고 합니다. Mm, okay. I hope you can still read the subtitles, guys. I I cannot make it. Well, I, I can try to make it a bit bigger. The, the overall image. I hope you can you can you can read those guys. 형태들은 무엇일까요? 옛날 선사시대 동굴의 벽에서 볼수 있었던 글씨일까요? 암호화된 메시지일까요? 실제로 존재하는 것을 그린 것일까요? 아니면 추상적인 형태일까요? 1959년 이 그림을 그린 유영국 작가는 우리에게 이러한 단서를 주었습니다. Her voice is so soft, guys. It really feels like a bit of ASMR. 작품에 산 지영이라는 이름을 붙인 것이죠. Hmm. 이 이름으로 보아 아마 유영국 작가의 고향 울진과 가까운 태백산맥을 묘사한 그림이 아닐까 싶습니다. Hmm. 유영국은 도쿄에서 그림을 배웠고. There are so many details in this little picture. Damn. 더 추상화를 그리기 시작했습니다. 한국으로 돌아온 후 뉴욕국 작가는 다시 그림을 그리기 전에 업으로도 일하고 양조장을 운영하기도 하셨다고 합니다. The way she ends sentence and her voice lowers but goes a bit higher. Ah, oh, love that. She's really good at like at reading stuff and narrating stuff. Why is it so soft and so calm? 작품 산 지형은 세계 각지에서 문화적 변화가 시작되었던 시기보다도 앞선 1959년에 탄생했습니다. 유영국 작가는 선구자였습니다. 처음 이 작품을 보았을 때 저의 눈을 사로잡은 것은 I love that she's She's so interested in that. For me, right now, it is only a painting. But for her, it is so much more. She really is into it and wants to understand the message that the, the painter tried to give us here. 색깔이었습니다. 저는 옷을 입을 때도 가장 먼저 끌리는 부분이 색깔이거든요. 음. 제가 가장 좋아하는 색은 민트색이지만 유영국 작가가 선택한 초록색과 노란색. True, true. Really intense colors. Yeah, true. Here's some, even some white or some icy blue in it. And here's some even darker blue. Mm. Mm. Yeah, true, true. This painting's energy is not limited to just Oh, yeah, true. It does. It does look a bit three-dimensional. Damn, there are so many little details. I love how she's explaining it because she's really passionate about it. 저에게는 이 그림의 질감이 부드러운 카펫처럼 느껴지기도 합니다. Mm. 
색이 차갑더라도 모두 카페트가 부드러운 걸 아는 것처럼요. 이 그림도 비슷합니다. 유영국 작가의 작품은 보면 볼수록 더 많은 것들을 느낄 수 있는 것 같습니다. 오렌지색의 선들도 이 작품에 리듬감을 주고 있습니다. Damn. I love the way she talks about it because it makes me understand the painting even more and makes me even a bit more interested into art because usually I only um, judge art by my first impression. Do I like this or not? But I, I, I usually don't try to understand it that much. But this gives me like the urge to understand some other paintings even more. Hmm. 이 선들은 햇빛일까요? 아니면 흐르고 있는 용암일까요? 몇개 짙은 색의 선들도 보입니다. Mm. 길을 나타내고 있는 것일까요? Could 오른쪽 be. 아래에는 교차점도 보입니다. 작품 윗부분에 보이는 건 하늘에 떠 있는 어두운 구름일 수도 있을 것 같습니다. Oh, true. 산은 하나의 띠를 이룹니다. 정리되지 않은 것처럼 보일 수 있지만 시적이기도 합니다. 유영국 작가는 오늘날 유명하지만 첫 작품을 판매했던 때가 60세였다고 합니다. 작가님의 아들 유진 씨는 이렇게 회상합니다. 아버지는 자신의 작품을 팔지 않는 예술가로 알려져 있었지만 제 생각에는 작품을 살 수... Oh no. My father was known as an artist who did not sell his work, but I think there was no one to buy it. That's a bit sad. 사람이 없었던 것 같아요. Many artists only become uh, many artists only become like famous um, or recognized um, after maybe even after they they are dead or, or years or centuries even later sometimes. 말을 이해하지 못했거든요. 아 그리고 유영국 작가의 별명이 무엇인지 알고 계시나요? 바로 산의 화가 그리고 색채의 마술사라고 합니다. Magician of colors. That's cool. Damn, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was something different because usually I'm, as I said, not that into art and culture stuff. But I could listen to Chang speaking about that for hours. Not only because she's so, uh, she has such a big knowledge about that, but also she's passionate about it. And her voice was just so calming for me. And it felt like ASMR in a way. But it was also really interesting to learn something new that I usually don't um, uh, am interested in that much. That was awesome. That was cool. I hope they're doing more episodes. Or I hope that she gets a chance to talk to um, someone or about something that she's passionate about um, in the future too. That was awesome. I liked it. And, and big shout out to Google for making that happen because um, that is again something to uh, bring K-pop idols um, a bit more into the um, Western world that is always good when they're recognized. That was awesome. I liked it a lot, guys. Tell me what you think about that. Are you into art or not that much? And uh, what is your favorite painting, guys? What is your favorite painting? Um, that was it. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Don't forget to smile today. Have a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful day. See you soon and bye-bye.